Well, hello viewers. Today is a very, very special day. I've got an unusual gun here, and uh, we're going to do a review and sort of unboxing on the FN America M249S. So this is the semi-automatic version of the M249 Squad Automatic Weapon, or SAW. And I can tell you right away, this is probably one of the coolest guns to come out in a long time. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So first and foremost, guys, uh, for those of you who don't know, the M249 is a 5.56 millimeter chambered uh, squad automatic machine gun. And what it's designed to do is it is designed to pin down uh, you know, an infantry, uh, in an infantry squad, it is designed to provide volumes of fire to keep the enemy's head down while, while the rest of the unit moves around. This particular gun is part of a collector series that is released from FN America um, in tribute of our armed forces, um, and it's kind of ironic, today is Armed Forces Appreciation Day, so that's kind of, kind of even better that we're doing this review today. Um, but this is a true civilian owned or civilian ownable version of that squad automatic weapon. And frankly, I think it's one of the coolest guns I've seen in a long time. It is a gun that for the gun enthusiast uh, or the collector, um, you just can't do much better than it. So let's go ahead and start our review. We'll go from muzzle to buttstock and um, talk a little bit about the nuances of the gun. First and foremost, though, uh, a huge shout out to Bullseye Guns in Lawrenceville, Georgia, for uh, for letting us do this video on this gun. And yes, it is for sale there, so, uh, well, it is for the time being. I don't know, by the time I'm done with this video, it might not be, but um, I will tell you, uh, guys, you know, for those of you who have served in the military who have shot one of these things, um, it's a big, heavy piece. Let's So let's go ahead and get started with some of the, st uh, some of the stats. First and foremost, unloaded it weighs 18 pounds. Um, now if you're a strapping young 18 year old marine or infantry uh, army guy 18 pounds is probably not a whole lot. If you're an out of shape dude like me 18 pounds it's got some heft to it. But the cool part is, is when shooting a 223 round through a gun that weighs 18 pounds um, there's almost no recoil, almost no felt recoil. And uh, the way that the operating system on this thing is set up um, it soaks up a lot of that too. It was designed for sustained full auto fire. A um, couple of things about the gun. <clears throat> the only real difference, there are two major differences between this and the version that the military uses. Number one, it has a semi-auto trigger pack, so it's not select fire. And number two, it fires from a closed bolt instead of an open bolt. Um, those are the only two real differences. Everything else on the gun is mil-spec. Um, so the barrel, all of the accessories, everything that comes with it um, is exactly the same as the real McCoy. And that is probably one of the neatest things about it. So let's talk a little about what you get. Uh, first and foremost, let's talk about the price. I know that's probably the first thing that's on everybody's mind, and yes, it is not cheap. Um, this particular one is uh, $7,500. There was a launch edition version of this gun that was $10,000. It came with some additional accessories, came with two barrels, um, but $7,500, that's, that's it. And they're going for more than that right now on GunBroker. They're, they're selling for a little bit more than that. And frankly, I don't blame them. Um, if you're going to buy a gun to collect, to have a one-of-a-kind, you will be the only kid on the block, this would be the one. Um, so what do you get for $7,500? So that's a good question. First and foremost, as typical with FN, comes in a cardboard box. The very most expensive cardboard box you can buy. Um, but I suspect it comes in the exact way that the military gets them, which is in a cardboard box with some components and some paperwork, and that's about it. And I'm okay with that. Um, what you're probably going to want to do with it is probably invest in a beautiful Pelican case and some other things to be able to put... Uh, to, to, uh, to put it in. Now, let's go ahead and get started on the review. So first and foremost, guys, this is a piston-driven gun, um, and the, the firing mechanism on this gun is actually very, very similar uh, to an AK. So for you AK lovers out there, 
um, when you disassemble the gun, what you're going to find is the, the piston system and the bolt are essentially an AK uh, bolt and bolt carrier flipped upside down. That's what it really looks like. Um, it is simplicity at its best, and that is one of the reasons why this gun is so effective. Is because it's got it's got a great operating system. Um, starting out here on the muzzle, this particular one's got an A2 flash hider. Yes, it can be. It's a obviously you can put a half by 28 uh, muzzle device on there and put a 223 suppressor on it. I've seen some with that already done, and that is pretty cool. Uh, it's got a hooded front sight, uh, very similar to the, um, actually very similar to the FN SCAR. Uh, it's not, it doesn't, it is actually, it's permanently fixed, um, but it's, it's, uh, it's got a nice, easy sight picture. It's got an a AR style uh, front sight post inside there. You've got your, uh, the lower gas system here. It has an integrated bipod, and one of the coolest things about the bipod is the bipod folds up and out of the way. It folds into the uh, front handguard of the gun. So when you're firing the gun, you can either fire it from the shoulder, or if you want to go prone, you can just flip these down and set the gun down and actually shoot it from the prone position. Now they also make, of course, a tripod mount that you could mount this thing to um, if you really wanted to uh, recreate, you know, fighting from a fight, you know, a, a, a prepared fighting position. Um, a couple other things about this thing. Uh, first and foremost, it has been safety checked. There is no round in the chamber or anything. And let me show you how you do that. Uh, first thing on this gun is the top cover um, as we're moving back. So uh, this is a belt-fed weapon. Um, but one of the unique things about it is it can either be belt-fed or it can be magazine-fed. I'm going to show you how that works here in just a second. But the first thing, for those of you who have never had a belt-fed weapon, uh, you pull up open the top cover and you check the chamber by moving both the, uh, the, feed, the feed ramp and the, uh, and the feed mechanism out of the way and there you have the bolt and chamber. We've got our yellow uh, bolt stop in there so that tells me that the gun is empty. Um, the military version you would also slide your fingers up inside the feed ramp just to make sure there's no stray bullets in there. Um, all, of this, all of this mechanism is mil spec and it's all exactly like the real M249. Um, one of the cool things about this particular gun uh, is that it has the, um, the uh, railed um, top cover. So you can put an optic on here. Um, uh, ben and I were talking, Ben from, uh, from Bullseye and I were talking, I think this thing screams for an ACOG or uh, you know, some type of a red dot or some type of maybe a four power optic would be, would be amazing. Um, charging handle on here. Um, so on the real military version, you're going to uh, you would lock the lock the bolt back with your hand um, and then and then pull it forward. On this particular one, since it is semi-auto, it's actually the bolt's going to follow you forward. Um, that's one of the only differences in the um, in the uh, in the actual function of the gun. Um, one of the other things that's real important. <clears throat> let me flip this over so you guys can see it. You see this uh, yellow. See this yellow block right here? So this yellow block is actually what allows you to operate the gun in semi-auto mode uh, with the bolt. Um, because what this is, is this, this tool that comes with it helps you lock the bolt in the rear position. Um, so that's actually holding the bolt in the rear position while you're, while you're, uh, while you're operating it. Uh, trigger group down below, it's got a cross bolt, cross bolt trigger, uh, cross bolt safety. Um, so uh, really cool, everything just like the original one. Gun breaks down exactly like a regular M249. It's got all captive pins. You just pull these pins through and disassemble it. Now guys, this gun does not belong to me. It is brand new and it is going to be somebody's baby, so I don't want to, uh, I don't want to um, molest it too much. Unless, uh, you know, obviously it's going to belong to somebody. So um, we're not going to, we're not going to, uh, you know, go through a, a breakdown, detailed breakdown video or anything like that. But a couple of things to show you that are pretty cool. Um, it is everything on it is mil spec. Um, the gun has a removable barrel. Um, uh, uh, the the barrel actually comes off in two seconds. You flip this lever forward, flip this handle up, and it comes right off. So uh, it was designed to be changed if you were, if, you know, if you were 
firing sustained uh, full auto fire, um, the barrel would go hot and you would want to replace it for accuracy and sustainability. So it was designed to have a, a quick, quick uh, change barrel on it. Uh, the gun also has a uh, folding carrying handle on here. This actually, the gun was actually not designed for this to be used as a carrying handle. It was actually designed to be used as a removal tool for the uh, for the barrel. I will remove the barrel just because I know we can do that without scratching anything up. But there's a tab right here. You pull, and once you pull that, you just kind of lift and pull, and the barrel comes right off. It's pretty amazing. Um, these things were designed for thousands and thousands and thousands of rounds of sustained full auto fire. So a semi-automatic version of it is going to be, um, it's not going to be a problem. You'd be able to, to shoot it for many, many, many years. Um, let's see if I can get this back on here. There you go. So um, what else does your uh, 7500 bucks buy you? Well, it buys you a couple of things. First and foremost, you get an FN branded gun lock, which is very important on a gun like this. Uh, but more importantly, um, you get some, some critical components. Now, I told you guys before, this gun is a belt-fed weapon, but it can also be fired with an AR-15 magazine. And let me show you how. So one of the things it comes with is your 200-round uh, 5.56 uh, M249 drum. And if you hear that, that is your, I think it's 100 links of 5.56 uh, for five, linking 5.56 ammo. Now I'll tell you, one of the dirtiest jobs, um, and it's kind of a pain in the butt unless you have a proper linking tool, is putting 100 rounds of disposable links together. But what is really neat is once you have your round set up, um, it's going to feed through this. This box fits under the gun right here, and uh, it locks into place, and it feeds your ammunition out of here into your feed ramp and into the gun. If you don't want to use linked ammunition and you just want to shoot it normally, the gun also comes with one FN AR magazine. I think it's a, uh, pretty sure it's an aluminum magazine. And what it does is it fits right here in this hole where this yellow stop is. Any stain ag AR mag uh, will fit. And so you can fire 30 round magazines all day long through it if you don't want to go through the process of linking the belts together. Although, frankly, if you're going to do it, I mean, Come on, you gotta use the belt fed. Um, <clears throat> one of the interesting things about this gun, for you California guys, and I, it's one of the things that I love the most about FN, and uh, this gun, I believe, I have to double check, but I believe this gun in its current configuration is California legal, mm -hmm. um, because it is belt fed. You may have to put a bullet button on it um, in order to prevent you from being able to use the AR mag, but it is, California legal, which for you guys, much love for you, because uh, I get a lot of comments from guys from California about the, some of the guns that I review, and it's just amazing what is legal and not legal. I had a, a viewer the other day talking to me about one of, about the Sig Legion video, and he can't get a Sig Legion in a 229 Legion in California because that's not legal in California, which is just it boggles my mind. Um, anyway, a few other things. You've got the uh, buttstock on this weapon. <clears throat> Make sure you can see it. It's got a uh, metal flip-up. Uh, let me see if I can get it with my. Sorry. I don't know. It's got a metal flip-up um, tab right there for your shoulder. It's for your shoulder rest if you're shooting it uh, prone or even standing. It just keeps it from gives you a, a better shoulder purchase on there. Um, obviously, sling mounts on it because it is heavy to carry. Um, trying to think what else might be to talk about. A um, little bit just about its overall quality, guys. Um, the fit and finish on this thing is incredible. It's beautifully done. Um, it is uh, it's absolutely one of a kind. I don't know how many of these things FN is going to make, and frankly, um, if I had the money or the credit line on my on my credit card, it, this particular one would belong to me. Um, I'm still I'm still trying to finagle away on how to do that. Um, I don't know what these are going to be worth in the future. Uh, it's kind of one of those. This is one of those guns. Is one of those gun moments where I'm sure years from now we'll be talking about the time when FN built um, 
you know, or released a semi-auto version of their M249, and um, I think it's absolutely cool. Um, it's one of a kind gun. It's a true toy uh, for adults. It is a true man Barbie, uh, but I absolutely love it. And the experience of just being kind of holding it, wielding it, and having it uh, having it here has uh, kind of given me some hope for the gun industry as far as uh, being able to have some stuff that is not necessarily um, not necessarily may, you know make a whole lot of sense, but certainly take advantage of our Second Amendment privileges. Um, the rest of the stuff here on the table uh, is stuff that comes with it. it you've got a M249 operator's manual. Um, obviously, everything in it is mil spec, um, so all the all the directions apply with the exception of the, the bolt hold, which I think there's probably an additional page on there. You've got some warning stuff in here. Um, and then, of course, the, uh, the uh, FN bill and paperwork. I don't think there's going to be too many of these that are going to be floating around that anybody's going to question the legitimacy of. But uh, anyway, um, a big thanks again to Bullseye Guns in Lawrenceville, Georgia. If you guys haven't checked them out yet, please do. Um, they also have a lot of their guns on Gun Broker, and you may actually see this gun on Gun Broker. Um, but... Um, Great prices, great service, and an amazing selection. Just good people to do, to do business with. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Don't forget to uh, give me a like on the video. Share it with your friends. If you, uh, share it with your friends if you, if you enjoyed it. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks a bunch, guys. We'll see you on the next one.